This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome back here with another episode of Soccer Wars. In the last episode, we uh, took care of some little side quests, met with the, uh, met with some of the girls, got some bromide, pretended to be Peanut for a while. Yay, our dignity couldn't be any lower. Anyway, let's continue exploring and see, see what we can uh, learn and do. I'll see if Cafe Ole has anything going on right now. Probably not, but let's see. A special shortcake. Strawberry shortcake? Rum to ta tum tum tum. Hmm. It's like really not much going on in here. Hmm. Quality beans, you say. I don't drink coffee, so. I already drank soda. I don't need I don't need another type of caffeine enhancer. So what are uh, Yep. They're, they're the shoe in for betting. And we're the long shot, right? So anyone who's a... No, I didn't want to... Uh, oh, it's because the... You can go to ca Cafe LA or... Well, it's not Cafe LA, it's... Cafe de Lille. Uh Cafe Guy de Lille. I don't know. Yep, they sure did take care of everything. It's like they're the bestest ever. But we're bestest at being last. Yeah, you can, like I said, the, the NPCs don't really give a whole lot of interesting dialogue. I mean, you know, I've talked about it before. They don't all they don't all have to be unique, but it's just like, it's just like, well, I mean, the point of talking to an NPC is it's supposed to make the world. It's either supposed to give you interesting information. I'm oh, sorry, Arthur. I'll talk to you in a second. Um, it's supposed to either give you information about the world, world building, or in old games where they didn't have so much data to because they can only have so much dialogue in it or whatever in a game. You know, they, they were supposed to be per poignant, you know, with what they were telling us. Hey there, Arthur. Is that one of the London team's spirit strikers? Date it. It's one of those all to bed when class units. I came as soon as I heard the demons were tagging. But apparently, at least from the Berlin team, it would malt them up for me. Yep, and I was there. Could have blinked and every missed everything. Don't say. I suppose they earned their reputation then. However, we have no intention of letting them get the better of us in the games. This time, the competition belongs to the London Combat Review. And if you say so, Arthur. How about you, Lancelot? Should have been called Mordred. Say, Kamiyama, how long did it take the Berlin Law to take down the demons? It was over before it started, in the blink of an eye, I might say. No kidding. Damn, I wish I could have fought them. I wish I could dig them out and even faster. Berlin Team Sakura, can't wait to face them. Just wait till they see me at full force. I don't think I want to see it full first, lady. Alright, anyway. Wait. Oh, I didn't know you could. That's the way to the rooftop amusement park. Huh. That's the one with the Ferris wheel on it, yep. Let's see if any of you have anything to say. Yep, sure is. Glad I talked to you. Big wheel. Get off the big whale. No, that's a different game. Not operational. One day. One day. What the? How'd you get here? Weren't you at the... Weren't you at the, um... Dining room? Man, you... People move quick. Is it all on guard? I guess it is. I don't know. I don't know. So that's... That's... Oh, yeah, we could go... I don't think anyone's in the Imperial Hotel, but... Oh, yeah, we'll have to go there. Later. I don't think there's. I don't think there's any reason to go to the station. Probably in the future, I'll probably avoid places that don't have a, an actual. Uh, I don't think there's supposed to be anything going on here. Let me see if the newsstand has any any interesting articles. Ah, oh, newspaper. Huh? I wonder if it has any articles about our show the other day. Ah, here it is. Let me see. Critical acclaim for the Imperial Theater's new production. The Imperial Theater's new play is making waves. With the new play featuring renowned star Anastasia Palma earning rave reviews, the last few shows have seen the theaters packed. While having Anastasia's lead boost in notoriety, other members also made remarkable technical improvements. 
Some critics have proclaimed that every actress has, has the making of a star. Oh, they do. They all do, huh? <laughs> the innovative stage equipment aiding their performance also adds an astounding amount of character to the stage itself. And we can't forget the excellent script written by Clarissa Snowflake. Snowflake. I don't know why that just... I think it's just because her name's Snowflake. The inspiring love story tugs at the audience's heartstrings and may look forward to our network. Next work. The Imperial Theater, which has lost much of its former appeal, became an object of scorn, maybe reclaiming its old vigor. If you get the chance to visit Ginza, I recommend taking a visit to the Imperial Theater. Wow, that's a rave review, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have to show this to everyone. Yeah, another case of, like, expanding the world and what's going on. Like, you don't need to uh, be aware of this info, but hey. Oh, I didn't need to. No. No. Skip it. I only talked to the newspaper dude. Why don't... Or it's newsstand dude. Why don't I do the whole thing? But yeah, like, something that isn't required, but hey, why not? Right. Um, see, I already went there. Oh, yeah, I guess you could... I don't think there's anything to really get in here. I guess I could have technically gone across the map here and went inside. Let's see if anyone says anything interesting now that it's not just Arthur and Lancelot's hanging around. Hmm. I see. Nope, it won't. Not for you, my friend. <laughs> I'm not saying. Well, maybe I want to check it out. Hmm? Maybe I have a thing for hotels. That's a big loud. That's a loudspeaker? I guess it's got trumpets or horns or whatever. Yeah, they're around here somewhere. But yeah, probably in the future, after, uh, since uh, unless it's a brand new area, I'm probably going to just avoid talking to people from now on. Because I've got really nothing to say. And I'll, obviously, I'll check an area, investigate all the stuff. I'm still trying to decide in later episodes if I want to, after major events, check in the newspapers and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, so there should be... Yes, bromide. Whoop. Yep, another bromide over here. Orihime Soleta, combat. Her type 2 Kobu's powerful lasers obliterate foes. Radiant Blaze, a solo meal. She must be Spanish. Now you gotta give the, the Soccer Wars games credits. Most of the characters are from different like, nations and stuff like that, so. Changing it up a bit. どうは<笑> So apparently the people are, are loyal to this place. Japanese sweets that Kaori asked you for to get for release. Mikazuki's Emo Yokan and Kintsuba are apparently what Kaori, Kaori always gets. Best deliver them quickly. Or we could still talk around and talk to people. Okay, I have the sweets I've sent for. I better take them to Kaori. Eh, or we could talk to Hiromi one more time. Let me get you a little quiz about our wares. Did you know there's two types of Sakura Mochi? Sakura Mochi, huh? Um... They're wrapped differently, right? Wait, they are different types? One uses horse meat? Uh, I gotta love the comedic ones. I don't know. I don't want to guess. Just tell me. Um, am I boring you? I'm boring you, aren't I? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be boring. Yeah, you are boring me. Did the translator get that? I... Uh, what? What? Oh, no, not at all. Sorry. I'm trying to think what that's from. I could swear that's from, like, a cartoon or something that was like, Oh, you're boring me. You're boring. Like, I, I've noticed, I have noticed, like, a lot of translators tend to, uh, most modern translators tend to put more lines from, like, more popular media. Like, before they kind of did it, but it wasn't as rampant as it is now. I don't know. I, I, I tend to hear, maybe so, not so much, although there was a game, there was a game I played that seemed to almost have meme humor. Well, Undertale had meme humor, but to, to a point. Um, old wall sake casts talk about extravagance. Our theater's stylish in its own way, too, though. Yeah, if you say so. Yep. Mm. yep. Oh, there's Anastasia there. So this, so she she just saw our show, so apparently I spent so much time that she'd already seen her Kabuki show. 
by the time. Or she's about to go inside. One of the two. Yeah, they need different kabuki plays. What are many different types of kabuki plays over there? Now let's see how Nostalgia's doing. See if she liked the show or is about to see the show. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Oh. おとこ色々な苦難を乗り越えた末、私 いつの間にか泣いていたわ。人前で泣くなんて恥ずかしいわよね。でもこういうことキャプテンにもあるでしょ。I can relate. What am I? A, what am I? A cry boy? No, I'm just kidding. I don't. <laughs> it happens before. It happened before you. Of course, men can't let anyone see the crime. Yeah, I could tough it up. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'm crying right now. Mm-hmm. ほんとにすごく感動してしまったから感動するそれこそ役者に本当に必要なものだわ感じた思いをみんなに伝えたいその気持ちが強ければ強いほど演技を完璧なものにしてくれる so she's an actor who's actress. You know, taking the role very seriously, want to express herself. Only with more actors are like that. Oh, well, go see it whenever you want, I guess, whenever the time's there, so. Uh, yep, yeah, so. Alright. Anyway, I think we're done with most of the exploration. Um. Yes. So, at least from what I can see here. So, all right, back to the theater to give Kaori her uh, her cakes, her sweets, and things. Mm -mm -mm. So here I did that. Yep. Just trying to remember to make sure. We should be able to get the rest of them done by today, at least, or uh, all the side quests and everything like that. Eh, still don't investigate. Yeah, I probably did something wrong. Or maybe my trust isn't high enough with Claris to activate that scene or something like that. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kiori. Here's those sweets you wanted. Thank you. I appreciate your help, Kamiyama. You need to go to M Mikazuki as soon as I made my request. Or, you need to go to M Mikazuki as soon as I made my request. Seems you already know Ginza like the back of your hand, Kamiyama. <laughs> well, this is the city I'm supposed to be protecting. I learn all the ins and outs. Good. It's reassuring to hear that. Keep up the good work, Kamiyama. Yeah, I bet those hidden events are, tr are, are if you have a high enough trust, unlocks them. So, on uh, this run, since I'm... Well, I'm not purposely trying to do bad choices. I'm just kind of... I think it's better to stick with a the theme in the game for for entertainment purposes. Besides, how many people you guys see online record all the silent options, you know? I mean, there's probably, a, there's probably some play through this game online. I usually don't check that stuff when I... Uh, um, Um, I thought there was, you know, now that I think about it. Okay. 
Never mind. I'm thinking of something else. I was trying to remember that. I think they're... No, never mind. Okay. Um, let's see. That looks like Kamachi has a uh, something going on. Yeah, this... Okay. Yeah, now I'm thinking. Yeah, you have to, you have to do Kaori's thing and then Kamachi has a new thing. Hey, Kamiyama, can you help me out? What's up, Kamachi? Since we're falling against some traffic, I thought we'd finally come up with a new product, Dake in the Dough. But Kiori says create new stuff is too expensive. She just won't cough up the cash. I see, yeah. Kiori is pretty strict when it comes to money. Yeah, tell me about it. Type fist is hell. But I still want to sell something new. Help me out, Kamiyama. Hmm, I guess I could talk to Kiori. Yeah, you have to do Kiori, Kaori's thing to, to do this other thing. So let's go back and talk to her about that. See if we can convince her to capitalism it up. Hmm. Looks like she's worried. I wonder why. Did you lose something, Kaori? Oh, yes. Hmm? I can help you if you like. What are you looking for? I found a pen. I need to get some work done, but I can't live without it. Or can't without it. Can't get your work done without your fountain pen? Can't you get any other pen? And isn't that your fountain pen on your ear? Your fountain pen. You'd be surprised how... What's that look on me? Is there something on me? You'd be surprised how many people, especially like with glasses or stuff, leave stuff in their hair or their ear. What's that look for? Um, yes, there is. Right behind your ear. Oh, that must be embarrassing, though. My ear? Or my ear? Oh. Maybe you can tell she's embarrassed. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Glad you were able to find it, at least. Maybe she does it so often because it's considered a, uh, a habit, so she doesn't notice it's not there because of the weight or whatever. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, Kamiyama. Hmm? Let's create this between you and me, okay? Otherwise, well, you know. Well, you know what? Are you threatening me? Oh, uh, yeah, I get the picture. I won't tell us so. I promise. Pinky swear. Cross my fingers, hope to die. Stick a jellyfish in my eye. Now let's ask her about that uh, thing for Kamachi. I'm glad you found your fountain pen, but can't you just do your work with another pen? Well, everyone has a favorite pen. Well, I don't, but that's because I don't care. I just grab any pen. But some people really like pens. This one is special. It's a gift from Samir. Apparently you two are really good friends. Either that or she has an obsessive complex with her. Huh, <laughs> I see. In that case, I guess it'd be hard to get any work done without it. Sm smear is everything to Kiori, isn't she? <laughs> Hold on. Well, what's your, what do you think, uh, Kamiyama? Hey Kiori, how would you feel about helping to make a new product to sell at the Imperial Theater? Now let's take advantage of her, her likes just to sell a product. Kamiyama, I see Kamachi has been busy filled your head with with lies. I mean ideas. Sorry, I'm recording this late, so. Well, yeah, that's something she mentioned, but you stand to benefit from it too, Carrie. Well, only Kamachi really is going to benefit from it. My idea is to combine two particular things. It'd be a match made in heaven. It's going to be bigly. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. Okay. I'll Okay, I'll bite. What heavenly product do you have in mind? Uh... <laughs> it's actually based on my choice, right? Yep. You and a fountain pen. Samir and a fountain pen. You and Samir. Well, I mean, that's probably what she really wants to happen, but it's probably not going to happen. But hey, we can always ship. But no, I don't know. I had an idea that just flew away. If you don't have any proposals, I'll have to ask you to leave. <laughs> eh, we suck. Oh, wait. I just thought of something. Well, why did you do that when I made the decision? Samir and a fountain pen. Looks like this. Samir and a fountain pen. I, I don't follow. Yeah, it's fountain gibberish, dude. You know, a fountain pen with Samir Kanazaki's face on it. They fly off the shelves. They fly more. I fall off. Oh, yes, yes, Kamiyama. That, that's quite brilliant of you. They need to put on a clapping effect. Yeah, whatever. Very well. I'll happily find the product. You need more items of real value like that out in the world. 
Stuff with Samir's face on it? Won't that pump up her ego just a little bit too much? You're the best, Gary. No, in this case, you deserve all the credit, Kamiyama. I came up with it after the fact. Without, without input for the player. I hope you look, at you look out for the interest in the Imperial Theater and Samir, Kamiyama. Kind of, uh, I'm trying to remember. This kind of reminds me of, like... There's a couple anime like that too, where they always have the like the either the secretary character or the person underneath, like a famous person. They're just like obsessive with them, like they love everything they do, no matter what. It's almost a bit creepy. Then again, I guess everyone has fans and obsessions and everything like that. But anyway, let's go back to Kamachi and uh, tell her about uh, tell her about uh, her new item of sorts. Kamachi, or Kamachi, I did it. I talked her into it. I, I used her emotions against her. What now? You mean the new product from Imperial Theater? Yes, a fountain pen with Samir's face on it. It's all settled. Way to go. You got a silver tongue, Kamiyama. <laughs> thanks. All right, Kamiyama. Thanks to you, we got some new merchandise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make us a fortune, my good friend. Now it's Kamachi's time to shine. Well, we'll see what happens with that, I guess. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, well, anyway. Um, let's see. I think after that, now we've just got story based stuff. So, yeah, let's go, to, let's go see Sakura. See how she's doing. She's probably getting in all sorts of trouble. Or, or just working on her skills and acting skills and all that fun jazz. すみません。えっと、二人はここで何を？過激団体戦のことを話していたんです。今回はどんな競技になるのかなって。なるほど。そういえば、競技の詳細についてはまだ知らされていなかったな。ねえ、神山は知ってるわよね。過激団体戦には
Ah, another bromide. I, I think we're missing one. I'm trying to think now. See, we got the one there, this one, and then we got the one that Claire's dropped. I think there's supposed to be one more somewhere, but Maria Tachibana combat. In her type two Kobu, Maria unleashes an icy barrage of fury. Behold, a silver barrage, a barrage is blinking in silence. Or whatever, I don't know. Hey, Yui. Um, I, I'm back again, Kamiyama? Yep, I just wanted to see you again, Yui. Yeah, yeah, I bet you say that to all the girls. You better be careful, you end up with a certain kind of reputation. And he already has a reputation of being a comatose, undes undecided weirdo. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Anyway, the Imperial Theater's been doing pretty well recently, huh? You've been putting on good shows and putting up good fights. What changed? Well, levels. Uh, it's all thanks to me. It's all thanks to me. Me, me, me. It's been a team effort. It's all thanks to Reiji. I mean, he did give us the tech, so... But, I don't know. I guess just dumb ma uh, protagonists from a Japanese RPG luck. So it's a secret, huh? Fine, fine. But yeah, I guess we won't need to go on easy on you as I thought. Might as, well, might as first. Just so you know, don't get knocked out of the world games before you get a chance to fight yourselves. Deal. Oh, there you go. Anything else to say? Don't get knocked out of the world game. Okay, I'm just repeating her dialogue. So. Alright. And, ooh. Looks like there's a new uh, event right next door. I think this is the one that the uh, uh, fortune teller told us about. Actually, I think the... Let's see. Well, I know. I saw it. I was just seeing if there was anything else in here. No. Okay. Oh, what's that on the ground? There wasn't bromide here last time. Why would we be in trouble? It's not like we found we had the panties. Of course, it's all about just a misunderstanding. That's a huge part of comedic entails for for this stuff. Oh, I didn't. Okay, well, let's check everything out. Uh, oh, you can hide in the dresses. So you can hide in the uh, hide in the dresses. You can. How do you hide in the mirror? Um. Uh, oh, is that? Oh, <laughs> or we could just leave through the window. That would be. Should that be the obvious one, where we just jump out the window? Damn it! I can't decide where to hide. Well, we're gonna get caught. Uh. え、いや、何もない。お、俺は女の子の下着なんて。Jeez, what a disaster. At least she let me explain this time. <laughs> Talk about a risky thing to find. Whose was it? No, damn it. Fix your brain. Yeah, who's, whose underwear was that? Who was in there last time? I don't, I don't recall anyone being in there. But, yeah, we got... We got caught. Not that we... You know, like I said, a lot of Japanese humor seems to be based off of, like, misunderstandings and stuff like that. So, um, let's see. Is there... I think... Oops. Hold on. Bam. Back up, back up, back up. Um, I don't think there's... I'm trying to think of them. I guess not, so... 
Okay, I was just double checking some stuff, making sure that I, um, let's see. Well, let's go talk to Reggie. I was trying to think if there was anything else um, that we need to see. We gotta, gotta go down and see Reggie and see what he's up to. All right, dude, what are you bugging me about? Hey, Reggie, you mentioned there was something you wanted me to get for you, right? Yeah, something real important, Sadro. I need you to find me a four-leaf clover. Uh, four-leaf clover? Is that a code for something? Some kind of special spirit crystal? Nope, just a regular old four-leaf clover. Although I guess there isn't anything regular about a four-leaf clover since they're so rare. Good luck finding one. Isn't that more of an Irish thing? Huh. Come on, Sadro, just track one down. Trust me on this. Merlin's Eisen Jaeger, London's Bridwin, and Shanghai's Wu uh, Wing Long are all powerful units, right? So even up to odds, we gotta go up against them. I need a four leaf clover. Need all the luck we can handle, huh? Okay, I think it'll. If you think it'll help, give me a bit and see if I can turn one up. Thanks, Sandro. Good luck. Four leaf clover, huh? Maybe there's one growing in the courtyard. Would be lucky, but I'll take a look. Alright, well, let's see what the courtyard has to offer. No, oh, that's a... Uh, no, I, I know where I am. I'm at a cafe. Hey, get the urge to treat myself now and then, so don't judge. Anyway, I felt like hanging out somewhere fancy. Go join me if you want. Sounds like Hatsu is in a good mood. All right, maybe I'll uh, go river a little. River a little. Okay, well, if you say so. Well, let's... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check that for the clover thing over in a second. Hatsuho is more important anyway. Must see... The Shrine Maiden. I mean, we had to do all, we had to do the forty thing anyway, but I just want to go go check up with her really quick. Hoi hoi. Hey Hatsu, sorry for keeping you. You're in pretty good mood today, aren't you? Ah, of course I am. Our show really knocked the crowd's socks off. Their socks went boom and a boom and a goom. And it's all thanks to you, Captain. No one could have cheered Claris up the way you did. I don't know, my indecisiveness seemed to somewhat do it somehow. That's very kind of you, but it wasn't just me. Everyone in the flower division had a hand in helping Claris. If you say, yeah, yes. Huh, everyone, huh? Man, we kick ass. Especially Sakura. All the success is putting some extra pep in her step. Pep in her step, huh? I mean, she's always been all sort of talented. I've never seen her shining like this. Shining like a star. That's more Anastasia's thing, though. <laughs> your, lights, your eyes light up when Sakura comes in, up in a conversation. Do you like her? That's fine if you do. <laughs> You know, what's she up to anyway, Hatsuo? I mean, is Sakura, are you two your best friend, like a sister, your role model? Sak, or, well, I mean, possibly, I guess, like a sister? Yeah. I don't know. Your, your, your relationships weird and, are weird and strange to me as a man. Just don't climb on me like that. Sorry, my mind sort of just blanked. Happens all the time, apparently. Jeez, Captain. Will it kill you to stay on topic? Anyway, Sakura's my best friend. I bet she'll say the same if you ask her. Hmm. It sounds like you two care about each other quite a bit, don't you? Yep. You have sleepovers, talk to each other about boys. Yep, sure do. Even it probably won't last forever. Well, I guess nothing lasts forever. What do you mean by that? Sakura's talented as hell. She's always trying her best. She never gives up and she finishes everything she starts. Really? She does? Well, I guess we have to be told this instead of showing this. One day that girl's gonna be a superstar. Did you read the script? And then she'll be the big shot rubbing elbows with all the other big shots. She'll forget all about me. Yep. She will. She's a shallow person like that. 
Come on, don't don't think that way. No matter what happens, you'll always be best friends. Friends stick together through thick and thin. Yeah, I guess you're right. Huh, we'll just be like you and Reggie. I'm sure, I guess. I don't know if we're that close, but um, we are definitely not best friends. Anyway, I got split. Nice chatting with you, Captain. And it was nice chatting with you, too, I guess. I get the feeling I saw a side of Hatsuo today she didn't often let people see. Well, I guess it's time to go find a four year clover. Yep. Will we be able to find this four year clover? Will it really change our luck against him? Will Reiji come up with something that will allow us to get even more trust in bromides through through other means? Find out next time in the next episode of Soccer Wars. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.